we got the beast on the block. This is Pro Boats UL19, 30 inch, ready to run hydroplane. Okay, we're gonna start tuning this boat today. All right, we're gonna start tuning it. All right, there's a few small things you can do, minute things you can do to this boat to get some better performance. All right, we're gonna get started with the tuning. Now, you cannot get a boat tuned in one session all right so it's going to be a long road okay there's going to be many videos to come all right uh this boat runs good right out the freaking box all right it runs good right out the box like i said there's a few things we could do to this boat to get her running better to get her running top all right um i've only got a few runs under my belt with this boat she's 6s capable 1900 kv dynamite motors 120 amp dynamite speed control she's a beast now she's a beast uh out the box out the box she ran all right um our our strut needs to be angled differently our stuffing tube needs some attention and we possibly will get a little bit of tuning on the turn fin in this video uh we'll, we'll take it out to the pond and see how she runs okay she see how she runs so y'all stick around big b here with Ironclad RC. All right, you guys. So, uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I think I'm gonna start, like I said in the in the intro there. I think I'm gonna start with the stuffing tube, okay? Um, and the strut. All right, you guys see the angle this strut is from the factory. All right, she's got some positive angle, okay? Some positive angle. All right. Uh, what that positive angle is going to do is when you under power, it's actually going to raise the bow of the boat. Okay, in the straights and in the corner. All right, with a hydroplane, as far as I know, as far as I know now, with a hydroplane, you want a little bit of negative angle on your strut, pushing the bow of the boat down. All right, that's going to keep your boat down in the straights. It's going to keep it down in the corners. Let that turn fin dig a little bit more. Keep the boat planted. All right. Um, in order to do that, we need to trim up some of the stuffing tube. Okay. Uh, the stuffing tube's a little, a little long on my boat. Not all boats are made the same. Okay. So your boat, your stuffing tube may allow you to put some down angle on your strut, strut factory. I can't get no down angle on it. You see how the angle of the strut, once I put some down angle, it wants to push the top of the strut arm out and we can't get no adjustability. Also, with this stuffing tube long like it is, and I think they did, they make these boats uh, with a long stuffing tube so you can actually tune them yourself cut the stuffing tube to length yourself all right and that's nice i'd rather for the stuffing tube to be a little long than a little short so i've got my i'm gonna push this up so it barely like goes into the collet up here okay so all right it's touching the collet so basically we only have that much cable in the collet okay uh, it's not very much for the collet to grab onto, hence the reason why I, I've read a few guys are losing their prop shaft on the first and second run. So when you get this boat, I would definitely, before you take it out, check all your screws. Okay, check, go through, make sure everything's Loctited, of course. Make sure you got grub screws on everything like you would with any other ready to run. Check your cable, you know, push your cable into the collet, pull it out, push it back in. Just check, make sure you got enough cable going in the collet. Uh, take your strut off, all right, and cut or grind, file, a couple millimeters off, little by little. You don't want to do too much at one time. All right, so I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take about two millimeters, possibly three tops, all right, three millimeters tops. We'll put the strut on, kind of see what it looks like, how far the cable goes into the collet etc i've also kind of sharpened up the leading edge of my strut all right that way the water it's not like a little blunt edge right there you see how i just sharpened the end of it very very light very light sharpen um taper it off so it's like more more hydrodynamic basically all right that way water 
flows right off the off the strut it don't create any drag no drag we don't like drag no drag all right we're gonna go ahead and cut this stuff in tube all right hopefully i can do this i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this I might have to cut it with the dremel let's see okay so maybe i can i want to pick the back of this boat up a little bit get it get the back of the boat up out of the water so she airs out back there you know be careful when you're doing this don't scratch your boat up don't want to kink or bend your stuff into where it's coming out of the boat all right so we're going to put the strut on let's see how it looks now with a look oh yeah so now see how my hole lined up all right um I, oh yeah also i also drilled out this hole a little bit larger on the base um i think it was threaded mine looked like it was threaded so that the screws like threaded into the base um i like to be able to just pull my screw in and out all right so now now we can go all the way down with our with our stuffing tube with our strut get a little bit of down angle okay air the back of the boat out all right and it's and we've got plenty of, of adjustability okay not all boats are created equal okay you might need to take off two millimeters or or six millimeters it just depends all right so let's see if our make sure our, our cable is going to push all the way up yeah but that right there is actually good to see i like a little bit of gap that's a little bit too much so i'm probably going to take a little bit of my cable off up here just kind of round it off so you see how see that all right, that's gonna put some radial loading on your on your on your motor. Okay, when this boat's underway, you gotta figure it's pushing the boat, so it's gonna have pressure on it like that. Okay, when the when the boat's underway, okay, it's gonna be pushing onto. Normally, it would push onto the strut. The, the strut would take all the load, bear all that load. But now, with a with too big of a gap right here. All right, it's actually putting pressure on that front motor bearing up here. All right, that's going to create some radial loading and, and possibly wear your bearing out quicker. Okay, so uh, probably going to shorten the cable up now. Okay, I got the boat sitting on my setup board. This is what I use for my mini rigger. All right, it's per pretty flat, pretty flat. Got the two, two sponsons sitting on it. Okay, uh, I've got my, my strut like a neutral angle no down angle no up angle it's neutral um that's about where it's at in the base all right all i did was file out my elongated hole a little bit to give me a little more adjustability if i freaking need it if i need it so we're gonna go try it out at the pond real quick i'm gonna run a single pack i'm just curious how the boat acts with a single 4s pack okay i don't have dual cooling hooked up yet so i'm not gonna run on 6s i did it that one day and that was it let's give it a shot let's give it a shot my turn fin i got my turn fin basically level with the setup board as well all right um yeah i'll see you at the pond i'll see you at the pond i just hit a freaking turtle freaking turtles in this pond man oh look at that oh you kidding me are you freaking kidding me look at my turn fin freaking turtle man oh I'm gonna run it like it is you guys if it runs like shit oh well just hit a turtle with it I'm glad it was in a corner and not in a straight
I just out here testing out the, the strut angle. Running good. It feels like I got a little bit more control. It's not so loose in the corner with that, uh, with, the, with the strut pushed down, all right, with a little bit of angle on it. I can't believe I hit that damn turtle, man. That's what, I hit a turtle with my, uh, with my rigger the other day, man. It, it, it bent the tip of my freaking, um, my propeller, man. Oh, she's running good. It seems like it's more planted with that angle on it, all right? Before, it was like loose. I feel like it got a little bit more control, even with the damn turn fin bent. I can straighten that out. We'll get that straightened out. That ain't no big deal. I could definitely tell it's got some down angle, for sure. For sure. For sure, I could definitely tell it's got some down angle on the on the strut, man. It's like night and day almost. Oh man, I freaking hate turtles, y'all. I freaking hate turtles. Um, so I guess that's the last time we'll be running boats at the park pond, all right? Uh, in the summertime, the turtles are thick in there. I, I guess they hibernate in the winter. They've been the pond's been great in the winter, but summer. Oh no, oh no. I got this thing straightened out. All right, you got it straightened out pretty good. Got it sharpened back up. I used a rubber mallet on my stainless steel desktop. I uh, got it close. I also traced this guy out on a little bit thicker piece of stainless steel out in the shop. Uh, we're going to be making a another turn fin for it. And I'm going to also make a Bobo Mojo. <laughs> a Bobo Mojo. All right, I'm going to try to my I'm going to try to make a curved Mojo fin, a Bobo Mojo up in an upcoming video. Um the boat ran good it ran good with the with the with the neutral strut angle it actually tightened the boat up in the corners all right it tight tightened the boat up in the corners i didn't have as much cable whip okay and i felt more comfortable uh with the shorter stuffing tube more cable in my collet all right she did good oh what is that what is that that that's a 3640 we're going to try in the next video okay uh this 3640 2100 kv i got two of these motors i got one 2150 one 2300 i think 2300 uh this is the 2150 we're going to give it a shot all right um with the stock 120 uh just curious where the boat's at with a 3640 okay it's a tp power 3640 um i want to get a 3640 1900 kv for this boat or a 3650 so i'm just kind of curious what the boat's going to do with this motor so i'll kind of know which way to go with it all right that's coming up in another video this boat's freaking great to upgrade it's so simple to drop a motor in pull a motor out um oh man oh i'm super excited i got a lot of tuning videos coming up for this thing it's custom parts we're going to be making the blast pickup for this boat all right got it mocked up on a piece of wood I, i've got a i'm going to like make it curved and everything uh i got a new sheet of laminate that i've got laid up outside waiting for it to cure up the video is going to be coming out here shortly a blast pickup all right um also after we test this motor we're going to test the stock motor with the 150 okay got some new batteries coming hopefully for the boat all right some some more more power okay these venom 50c 5000s they're good batteries they're a little too long you can't really mess around with cg with these long skinny batteries and to be honest i just don't do this boat any freaking justice okay so i got some more batteries coming so uh we'll be able to do some like speed runs see where the boat's at all right um yeah so we're gonna try this guy out later on 4s and 6s uh we're gonna try this guy out 4s maybe not 6s it's a high kv but um like i said i got a lot of tuning videos coming out um with this boat the sonic wake um this boat we're actually waiting uh, you guys hadn't seen this one i hadn't forgot about it now we're waiting on a capillary tube to come in from freaking china and i hope it's the right one i bent my my wire drive putting the 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 drive line in all right i, I bent it it was my fault it was my fault i bent the wire and i cannot get the wire out of the freaking capillary tube uh 
because I got more wire, I just don't have a capillary tube. So I'm waiting on that to come in. Oh yeah, Vinny, shout out to Vinny. Uh, he built one of these boats. I got a picture of it, man. I'll show you right now. Vinny's build turned out great. He did the stacks, did all the trimmings. I mean, it's freaking cool, man. He's also got a UL-19, and we've been talking back and forth. He runs his with the OSE-150, and he, he loves it, all right? 4S, 6S. Um, shout out to Vinny, all right? Shout out to Vinny. Uh, we're going to be messing around with this one in the future, uh, and we're probably going to be upgrading the radio on this boat, all right? So I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, this boat's great. You can upgrade it. You can do lots of modifications to it. It's a fun platform, all right? You're going to see a lot more of this. Um, if you buy this boat through the channel, there's a link in the description. It helps me out, all right? You guys can get the boat and basically build the boat with me, okay? Or, or just... Have fun with your boat while I have fun with my freaking boat. Uh, yeah, so uh, shout out to all my subscribers. You guys have been great. Y'all have helped me out with lots of uh, troubleshooting and stuff. Some of this new electronics that I'm not mm, used to yet. Uh, thank you. Thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers. You guys have been great. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Let me quit jacking my jaws. It's a long video. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. I um, hope this video helped you out. Okay. I hope it helped you out with the stuff and tube. If you got cable whip, it's a good way to get rid of it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Ring the little bell.